Hi, I'm Brian Goodwin. Every month I write a column for ASED's educational leadership magazine titled Research Matters. So for the September 2020 issue of the magazine, my colleague Chris Rollo and I dug deep into research on quizzing and grading practices or testing and grading practices. And we identified some things that come right out of the science of learning, out of brain science, that I think are really important for every classroom teacher to know. So the first the big idea is this, is that actually one of the best ways to learn something is to rack our brains for that memory that maybe hasn't yet solidified in our minds. So think about this for a moment. What that means is that quizzes, even the dreaded pop quiz, can be a really powerful learning tool. For me, this is one of those like forehead slapping moments when I read a research report and go, oh, I wish I had known this back when I was a high school and college teacher because I gave a lot of quizzes. Usually, trying to keep my students honest, right? Trying to make sure they had done the, the reading from the night before. I'd give the quiz, I'd collect the quiz, I'd grade them all, I'd give them all back to the kids, hopefully the next day. And I realize now that a far more powerful strategy would have been to simply explain to my students this idea of quizzing to remember and to give lots of ungraded quizzes, right? I could have done spur of the moment quizzes, maybe bell ringer activities as they came in the classroom, give them a quiz. And I'm, I'm thinking about this, like right now for a lot of teachers, as you're thinking about how do I do online learning, you may be worried about, well, can I give quizzes? Because how do I know my students aren't cheating? Well, if these are our ungraded quizzes, right? If the whole, if they're, uh, if they're learning tools, not measurement tools, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to tell your kids, look, you're only cheating yourselves if you're cheating. The whole point is you're trying to rack your memory for something that maybe hasn't quite gotten solidified yet, right? So, your first big tip is quiz more, grade less. I'll share with you a second tip in my next video. So stay tuned. Come back and check that one out.